Hello everybody, it's the Gravity of the Ghost again, back with Joy Mech Fight. Uh, last time I introduced you guys to the, to the game, how to play it, and how to navigate through the game, and also playing through the first battle, fighting Flame and having to join our side. Uh, so now we have two robots on our roster at the moment, and we're going to be fighting first Tiger, and then we'll be going on the Neo. Uh, and then I'm hope, and if we have enough time, we might get to Senju. So, let's begin. Tiger is more of a offensive character. He has a lot of, uh... <laughs> for me, <laughs> he's, uh, I mean, a lot of these battles in the first round are easy, so you don't have to worry about it too much. So this is Flame. So we're going to play the character since we just unlocked him. Uh, his moves are really not that hard. Uh, so, let me teach you. So this is Flame. He is a pretty offensive and kind of defensive character. He has some anti-air moves as well. Uh, so first he has a projectile move, which is the Flame Shot. All you have to do is hold down and press A. Down A. His next move is a throw, which is called the Aerial Throw. I think it's, no, it's like the Air Toss or something. Uh, the next move is, is the Firewall, or I think it's called Fire Fury. You have to press A and B at the same time, and th it just creates this wall of fire above you, so anyone that goes above or near you just gets hit with a lot of damage. And the next one is a little, is a move that's a little bit harder to perform. It's called the Fireball. So you just have to do a, I believe, a half circle. Oh, no, I was doing a back, I was doing a, <laughs> you have to do a backwards half circle, and then press A. And you didn't hear this from me, but there's actually some secret ways to, uh, there's actually alternate ways to have special moves. Sukabon has this, Flame has this, and other characters do. So if you try to do the same exact motions for the fireball, but press B instead of A, the move will uh, react a bit differently. Watch, watch this. This time, instead of launching across the stage, he only launch halfway through the stage. So it's more of like a short range version. Just a little something I wanted to tell you. So yeah, let's get out, let's get back into the fighting. And this is, uh, the, in my opinion, the, the iconic stage, in my opinion, of Joy Meg Fight, which is Robot City. I mean, the song is really, in my opinion, uh, really uh, the, uh, the, the most iconic song of Joy Meg Fight. Probably, a, uh, in my opinion, my <laughs> it's one of my favorite songs. Uh, but I have other favorites that you'll see later on in the game. <laughs> Especially the boss, the first boss. He has a really amazing theme. Oh, he didn't touch at the time. Ah, that sucks. Got him. <laughs> Oh, he threw me. Okay. He's got some fight in him. Oh, he was smart to stay there. But yeah, I bet you're wondering, how could it- I bet you're wondering, uh, how could an NES create such a fighting game that's so fluid and such, and not so, like, laggy and weird. Well, they actually did a trick to have, to make the game's character sprites function individually rather than as an entire, uh, sprite. Which is really amazing, uh, how they could get to do that so they could make the game that they wanted. To make it almost as fluid as something like Street Fighter. Which obviously is what the implications are, because this is what <laughs> when you when we look at the full roster of characters, at least the first eight, uh, there are some characters that look very have very similar moves to Street Fighter characters. Ah oh, man. Oh, and we got him! <laughs> Tiger has been defeated. All right, reprogramming. 
And now we got Tiger on our side. He's like the Ryu of this game. Not really nec like necessarily in like the way he plays, but like obviously because he's like a he's got the fight, he's got the headband, and he's like a war like a warrior and such, something like that. All right. Next, we'll be doing Neo. So, just a little synopsis about Tiger here. His moves are a little, a little tough to do, but it's not too hard. So, first up is his uh, jump kick. You just have to hold back and press B. Next up is his downwards kick, but it's essentially like Falcon Kick or Ganon's uh, Warlock Kick or the Wizard's Foot. Jump, and then press down and B. This is especially useful if you want to combo it with a grab. Do that, and then, oh. You can do that, combo with a grab. Which is also his other move. His last move is a little hard to do. It's a dash, it's called the dash upper. You have to do a four, <laughs> half circle. It's back, yeah. It's back, down, forward, and then A and B together. Yeah, it's pretty hard, but it's very powerful. So yeah, let's get to the battle. So yeah, I bet, I bet the good thing that you can do is that he's very good at overwhelming your opponent, just launching left to right with this move, then jumping up and going down, and then probably following up with a, with a grab. He has a, a lot of combo potential. He's got the knee pads for a reason. <laughs> See, look, I already knocked him down already. Yeah, if you didn't notice from the last episode and today, uh, once when you defeat a character, you gain a little bit of health. Which I think is a cool concept. And I wish, uh, I hope that if they ever make a, if they ever make a remake of this game or something, that they keep that mechanic. I think it's a really nice one. However, they should definitely have a, have a timer. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. You know, if it has a, the health thing, it probably doesn't need a timer. I do the dash up or see if I can get a kill in. Oh, that, nope, I can't do it. <laughs> ah, he hit me. Me trying to do something I know I can't do. He's just jumping around. Look, look, look at this guy. Doesn't know when to quit. Alright, I got full health now. Oh, he got me with that? Oh, that's nice. Oh, now he's launching all the special moves. He's getting his uppercut, his multi-kick. What the heck? This guy's a monster! <laughs> he is not happy. <laughs> Calm down, my guy. Oh, and he's launching his, uh, his energy shot. If I- oh, I don't know. I'm not feeling confident about this. I don't use Tiger very often. <laughs> Oh, I can grab him. Whoa, he is like, he, he was launching his things at a lightning speed. What's wrong with this guy? He needs some help. Alright, we got him. Look at him kicks. Alright, now we finally reprogrammed Neo. Uh, he's going to be joining our side. In fact, I like using Neo the most in this game. Uh, you can call me a Neo main. <laughs> He's 
really fun to use. I love them. But yeah, uh, we got through these two characters. <laughs> uh, I could say we might have a little bit more time for another one. Let's do Senju. This time we're going to be doing Neo. And as always, I'll be teaching you how to use his moves. So first up is the energy shot. Same as Flame's move, is hold down and press A. Next up is his multi-kick. So this is kind of like Chun-Li's move. Uh, basically you just hold, press B and uh, keep pressing it rapidly. And uh, yeah, you got the multi-kick. Next up is his grab, which is the, uh, yeah, the Neo Toss. Then we got his uppercut, the, the, the uh, Neo Upper. You press A and B at the same time. And that's pretty much it. He's a pretty, his moves are pretty easy to learn. Alright, let's go. It's funny because Senju also has a multi-hitting attack, this time it's like a multi-punch instead of a multi-kick. Where he uses his drills as well. This character is, <laughs> is very heavy on the drill mechanic. <laughs> like half his moves are based off of drills. Ah, oh, let's get a grab in. Oh, I can do that. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, we got him. Oh, I could have did, uh, did a thing. Got him with the upper. I wanted to see if he was gonna walk into it. Obviously, they didn't work. <laughs> oh man, that didn't work. That's something for ya. Oh, I dodged that just in time. Alright. Hopefully I can get a get a good a, a good kill in. Oh, there we go. We got the upper. Alright, we got he got one life left, we can do this. Oh, he's trying to charge he he charged he charging. He ready to charge for that move. Look at him. 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 He's char charging that move. <laughs> he was ready. He's like, ah, he's like, you, you know what I'm doing. <laughs> he's like Guile. He's like, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Send you turtling. Fall right into it. Yes, please. Please. Oh, he's doing his, he's doing his move, his multi-hit. But that's no match for me. Alright. <sighs> Alright. Senju is now on our side, and he's blue. Alright. That's pretty much it for today. Next time we'll be going through the last three characters, Sasuke, I, and Giant. And then, after that, the fourth episode, we'll be going against a secret character that I won't tell you about until that episode comes. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like if you uh, enjoyed it and stuff. Comment down if you are inter if you are where you if you want to talk about where you are in the game or if you are interested in playing the game. It's a lot of fun, and I would like a lot of people to play it. Uh, so yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. See ya!